Today I'm uh, very happy to present the program that is deploying and harnessing technology, specifically media, TV media, to uh, spread across the Arab world entrepreneurship, innovation, and invention. Uh, I am the director of the center, however, I'm going to be presenting this program that is an initiative by Qatar Foundation. I'm the jury member on the program and the science advisor. Now, an introduction before I go into the actual uh, format or the project. Uh, why do we need innovation and entrepreneurship? Because we want to have better quality life. And because we want to make money, we want to make profit. And we've been hearing a lot of good ideas, and we're going to hear more by tomorrow. Ideas, ideas everywhere. In today's world, and ICT and social media, ideas are the cheapest thing. They're everywhere. But not every idea is really going to be an invention. An idea has to be useful. An idea has to work. And if you look at the numbers, less than 1% of patents even make it to a product. So an innovator is really an engine of ideas. You want entrepreneurs? We need many thousands of ideas. Now, <clears throat> let me go directly into the initiative. Stars of Science is an initiative by Qatar Foundation and produced by Khayal Production. This is the third year, and it's shown on NBC4 for the local people, or even international. And I hope you could go on the website, Stars of Science, to know more about what's happening today. Now, the initiative by Qatar Foundation was in 2008 to basically uh, use and deploy a reality TV that's very popular among the Arab youth, but with a different, a different message. The message that Her Highness, President of Qatar Foundation, Sheikh Hamouza, wanted to deliver a message of invention, scientific innovation, and useful activities for the youth. The format was Stars of Science, and probably some of you have heard of Star Academy. It's reality TV, like Star Academy, but we graduate inventors and scientific innovators rather than dancers and singers. We like them all. However, we need some balance in our community. Now, eventually, we get into a workshop, 16 young female and male, working for 12 hours daily under supervision of experts to develop their ideas. So the concept is how do you take ideas, very novel idea that are patentable and they have IP values, how do you take ideas to professional prototype ready for commercialization, to a product-like looking prototype? And there are serious awards, as you can see here, $600,000 are given really not to buy a new car, but mainly to go start your company. Because these innovators, the most important thing in the innovation are the innovators themselves, not the projects. So they're given very important awards, as you can see, because these awards will be used to start their life and start their companies. Now the process, I'm not going to dwell too much on it, but there are phases professional phases that we select. We select these 16. We go on a casting tour across the Arab world. There are professional teams that they review scientifically. What are we seeing? And uh, if I want to just stress the criteria, we have a set of criteria. The most important thing I want to highlight is that we are looking for useful, ideas, novel, new, never been done across the world, and unfortunately that they have to be done and can be implemented in three months because this is a TV program that has limited time. So in a three months workshop, we, we need to translate an idea and transform it into a product. So novelty, scientific correctness, and practicality of all ideas. Now. The workshop is actually in the building behind the center, and they live here for three months. All these, across this highway, we have this beautiful education city. 
all the labs in these universities are accessible, the technicians, the professors, everybody is in support of these young entrepreneurs or inventors. And uh, they go through what's called filtration process, evaluation, assessment. And these phases are very important. Like every scientific innovation, we have a proof of concept. Basically, we are verifying the validity of the scientific feature. Product engineering, is this scientific feature working in a useful product? And then a product design, business and marketing, where they actually put a business plan. Then I go to the TV format. We have eight primes. In this season, it's every Thursday night, NBC4. And then we have dailies, so the Arab Youth mainly, the target audience are the Arab youth. So the Arab youth between 18, between 15 and 30 years old, they are following and living the dilemma of the development. So on a daily basis, they see how are the drawings being transformed into a prototype? How is the idea of having a light with a battery becoming a PCB, printed circuit board? How are we making a machine work from a drawing, from just a simple idea? And the Arab youth are communicating with them, you know, with all the multimedia and internet tools. To get an idea about the numbers, we get over five to 6,000 applications. So there are 6,000 yearly ideas that their owners believe they are owners, they, they are novel and they are new. And professional teams go through the filtering, IP offices go to identify the top 500 novel ideas and we go on a one-to-one -one interview. So we interview 500 young people in the Arab world to see what do they mean by these novel ideas. And then we go to a selection to filter down to the top 16. Again, the top 16 projects or inventors are not gonna change the Arab economy, but it is a message that we're delivering through the TV to all the Arab youth to have hope and to break the wall of fear that they can produce and they can invent. Now, I'm not gonna list all the skills, but I'm gonna highlight that this three months exercise in three months with all the phases to go from an idea to a product, they support all the outcomes that are required by ABAT accreditation. ABAT is accreditation board for engineering and technology, which is an accreditation that's been adopted worldwide for engineering programs. And in ABAT, there are A through K, a through K outcomes. Ability to apply mass to useful, ability to respect constraints, economic, environmental. All these things are respected and they are supported by this program of three months. So this, the academic value of this exercise is extremely strong. And I add from A to K, I added L, ability to develop a business plan. ABAT required A through K and we added one more. We added L to say that yes, scientists and engineers must know business plans and must know entrepreneurship and must know market. So this is what the program is supporting. I'm not saying get rid of the engineering degree and have a three month stars of science. I'm saying the stars of science program will support all these A through, Cal out, A through K outcomes. Now the impact, the impact is really wide. We are, you know, the impact is reaching deep in the desert of Algeria and in Saudi Arabia we don't know where it's reaching because this multimedia or this TV broadcast on the network is reaching hundreds of millions of homes worldwide. And the forum is alive, the communication is going wild. And I know that from year to year, the quality of the applications, the number and quality is changing tremendously. So we know the impact. Sample inventions, just select randomly one. Wireless charging robot crawler. So this guy wants to charge a robot wirelessly without a cable, wireless energy. The application is pipeline for gas. I'll show a couple pictures. These are samples from season one, which is three years ago. What the students or these participants produced in three months from a drawing. So they came with a piece of paper and after three months they have this functional prototype. So this looks professional, it works, it has all the functions. This is another picture of last season, season three. You saw the sophistication 
we transformed in three years to something much more professional. This is from the finale of 2010. And now I'd like to play the video, the trail, that summarizes the story with subtitles. Please, let's go. الموسم الثاني من نجوم العلوم رفع سقف المنافسة عاليا جدا الابتكارات تطورت المبدعون قاموا بعمل خارق والنهائي المنتظر كان عرسا حقيقيا للعلوم والثقافة ومع وصول الموسم إلى نهايته ولدت أحلام جديدة استعدادا للموسم الثالث من نجوم العلوم الرحلة طويلة وشاقة والوصول إلى شواطئ النجاح يتطلب نظرة ثاقبة لم تتأخر طلبات الاشتراك بالوصول بكثافة فاقت التوقعات طلبات حملت أفكارا كبيرة وآمالا مشرقة للعلم في الوطن العربي ألاف الطلبات كانت بحاجة إلى دراسة والتصفيات الصعبة والطويلة بدأت بسرعة بقيادة فريق من الخبراء العرب وبقيادة عضوي لجنة التحكيم الدائمين الدكتور فؤاد مراد والمهندس محمد الكواري اللذين ذهبا في مهمة واضحة ومحددة العودة بأفضل المبدعين الشباب العرب ليكون النواة الجديدة لبرنامجنا رح نختار الأفضل من الأفضل هيدا ممتاز الطامحون كثر والأفكار وميادين الابتكار متنوعة من مصادر الطاقة المتجددة إلى الابتكارات الطبية وانتهاء بالطب البيطري جولة التصفيات جرت في ثمان مدن عربية الجولة الأولى جرت في دوحة الخير وتحديدا والنتيجة تسعة وعشرون مبدعا لكن المهمة الأصعب كانت في الدوحة حيث تم اختيار ستة عشر مشتركا لحمل لواء الموسم الثالث من نجوم العلوم خبراء عالميون أساتذة من أهم الجامعات واختصاصيون رافقوا الستة عشر مبدعا في كل مراحل البرنامج إثبات فعالية الفكرة الهندسة التصميم الإدارة والأعمال إذا تأهلت بإذن الله في مفاجآت الإنجنيرية المشتركون كانوا على مستوى المسؤولية وقدموا أفضل ما لديهم رغم الضغوطات الكبيرة وعامل الوقت الذي لا يرحم لوك مي كيش لازم ثمانية سبيل حيتأخر أتليست أويك توصل رح أضلني متوترة لبين ما يخلصوها حسيت في كتير تداوقت البيت إضافة إلى مواجهات قاسية ومعقدة مع لجان تحكيم تعتمد على المعايير العلمية في حكمها كنموذج لمنتج أنا شخصيا ما لمقنع الموسم الثالث بكل لحظات الفرح والخيبة النجاح والإخفاق أنا أحلق الآن لا أدري أين الصداقة والعطاء العلمي سيبدأ قريبا تابعوا معنا رحلة الدفعة الثالثة من المبدعين الشباب العرب Thank you. I, I want to conclude with uh, I want to conclude with a few remarks in this educational summit about our educational system. And I come from university. I, I was professor for 17 years. And what Stars of Science taught me over four years now is that in our educational system, in our universities, we are really lacking basic design and business knowledge for our scientists and engineers. They know nothing about design and business, which is a problem. We are having problem with our media organizations because when the reporting about innovation and science, they're really not uh, following up on any uh, standards or credibility. We have problem with the IP, the intellectual property system in our region, that it is not given any value added, any credibility. Uh, the university professors and staff members and university labs, they need to complete the cycle. I didn't find the university outside Qatar in the Arab region that has a complete cycle for developing prototype. They might do a PCB and somebody do a CNC, but nobody can do complete product prototype. We need to complete the cycle 
And finally, I know she'd like the word finally. <laughs> the <laughs> and finally, I want to say that it's very important to actively apply the knowledge to our real world problems. We need to do that in a social process and we need to integrate our R&D effort with informal grassroots knowledge and innovation. Thank you very much. <laughs>